Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with another episode of Hoarder's Delight 2. And right after the end of that last episode, the bird's nest finally finished. You can see here the QDS is now blank. So I turned this off. It's actually pretty easy to shut off. You just flip this lever right here and it quits giving this guy a redstone signal. Uh, he can't do anything. So there's a tree in the way. So with that now, Oh, yep, yeah, my raw meat nuggets are doing pretty good. But we have bird's nest complete, and we get a knapsack. Finally, right? Boink, there we go. And now I have an extra inventory of stuff that I can carry with me. Things like my watering can, my dagger sacrifice. Just stuff that's handy to have on you, but you don't want clogging up your inventory. So, what else we got going on here? Uh, stained glass panes. Do these have to be... I think these have to be vanilla. Uh, drink water there. My throat was getting pretty dry. Hmm. Excuse me. So we can do some of these quests here and we can get... Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We can get some like ME storage discs and whatnot. I'm still a little bit uh, miffed about the whole not being able to... Uh, 216 that's all we've gotten um <clears throat> excuse me uh, and they make controller you know and it's just annoying as hell is what it is uh how's my fish doing we're up to five percent now nice it's going slow i don't really care though i mean it's it's doing its thing and let's see roughly about how fast these guys go yeah pretty slow why do you have a fishing rod in you? You don't. Why? Why do you have one? That is really weird. Hmm. I don't remember putting those in there, so I doubt it was me. Uh, let's see, though. What else have I been working on between episodes? Well, one of the first things I did is... Yeah, you're dry again. But, 13 slates. All right, so go to our knapsack. We'll grab our dagger sacrifice and do some smiting real quick. Get some more LP into the into the altar there. And let's see, you're good. All right, now like say arrow, minicio, loot bag. Okay, those can go away. So this fills up. Um, let's see. Easiest way to say this or put this is go back here. We have a chest with smooth stone in it, transfer node, hyper rationing pipe. It will keep one item in whatever inventory it's connected to. In this case, the blood altar. And then here, uh, there we go. I have this guy filtered for blank slates. So as soon as that stone turns into a blank slate, that conduit pulls it out, throws it in this chest. We're up to 16 already. And it's working relatively fast. And all I have to do is just come over here once in a while, stab some feet, and I get runes, which is great. Because I have plans for that as soon as I can get up to a tier 4 altar. Right now I'm still at a tier 3. So, need to make, I think it's 28 total blood runes, so I need 56 slates. I have 21 there, and another 19 there, so I got 40. I need another 16 of them. Uh, you know, it'll take a little bit of time, but it's not horrible. Uh, this guy's still going strong. I'm sitting at 64% meat nuggets. But 28% sewage. Now, the sewer that I hooked up to my uh, my two mob farms here, it's not collecting sewage from hostile mobs. It must have been changed in 1710. However, it will collect experience. So now I have... On, why can't I not get up there? That is really weird. Because I know you're not a full block. I should be able to stand next to you, but oh well. Three green, right? That's my mob essence uh, tank system. So, you know, it's the same as the tank on top of the auto spawner over here. Which is. Uh, it's waiting for more. You know, not much I can do there. I could make the system faster. I'm not quite you know, want to do that yet. Uh, something else I've done 
is, look at our soul binder here, I have made a pink slime broken spawner, right? So now let's see. Powered spawner, right? Powered spawner, empty. I need a mob head. I need a Z logic controller, electrical steel, and vibrant crystals. Okay. Ooh, lag spike. Uh, let's see. One, two, right? I need four electrical steel. One, two, three, four. We need a chassis. One of you. Now, a mob head and a Z logic controller. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, two solarium. One, two. And let's see. Get some redstone. Just a single piece of that. Some silicon. Two of you, right? And now we go into our storehouse here and doo -doo, towards the bottom, zombie head, right? That's for the Z Logic controller. Now, I also need a different. Does it have to be. I think. Nope, there we go. Okay. It doesn't have to be an Enderman head. However, it does have to be a vanilla head, I believe. These are for Iguana Tinker Tweaks. So, no, they don't quite work, unfortunately. And looks like I'm going to use a creeper head because they're not used nearly as much. So, whoop. And boom. So, there we go. Z Logic controller. And let's see. Powered spawner now. There we go. There's that guy. Grab this out of here. Now I have to combine these in an anvil, right? I have to put them in the right order. There we go. I need 30 levels to do it, though. Oh, whoop. Okay, let's store all those. One, two, three. 30 levels. All right. Powered spawner plus that one. 30 levels. I now have a pink slime powered spawner. Activate with power, or some apply with power to activate. Upgrade with capacitors to increase speed and energy storage. Awesome. And it's still, it's 1710. It has the uh, the ghost item issue when you're using an anvil. Mainly when you're shift clicking into an anvil. Alright. A little more slaughter fest going on here. Awesome. And let's throw like loot bags and stuff in there. Which, very soon, I'm going to have to start doing something with loot bags. So we're up to 22 in there now. Cool. Every time I can actually fill up the altar completely, then it's 10, maybe 11 uh, slates, depending on how long it takes me to fill up the altar completely. If I can, you know, have enough guys there that, uh, what's the deal? Where are you guys at? Oh, spiders again. There. Seven of them out there. Good lord. All right. Um, <clears throat> why are you, why is there a string in there? How did you, like, take enough fall damage to die in there? Jeez, that's, that's pretty bad. Oh, uh, yeah, but depending on how long it takes me to stab everything in the face, or in the feet with the sacrificial dagger, then, uh, sometimes I get an extra slate out of it. Not like I'm complaining, really. So, this guy over here have it shut down right now. Probably going to take it out later. Right now I'm leaving it as a testament to I should really pay attention to what mobs drop. Only the smallest pink slimes drop slime, pink slime balls. Everything else doesn't. So that's why I went ahead and made the spawner. Now I could probably get by with hooking up a Killer Joe instead, but I don't think that Killer Joe would be able to uh, keep up. So I'd have to have several of them. But what we have here is 1,000 cursed stars. Actually, 1,025 cursed stars. Let's see where this is going. <laughs> oh, God, that was lovely. All right, let's do it again. It's raining pigmen. I should have done this higher up so it would have killed them all, but oh well. That is a lot of pigmen, by the way. But what was it? Eight stacks plus one cursed earth now. 
So now I gotta find the the uh, cursed earth quest. Uh, no, not this one. Hobby maybe? Nope. Is it rehab? Um. Yes, it is. It's rehab. Manual submit. We have the Skullfire Sword. Behead skeletons and scorches them black. So now here we go. I think I have a way, and this thing does have infinite durability. No, it's only got fifteen sixty one. Hmm. Damn. Oh, hey, perfect. No. Ah. All right, let me land. Thank you. And let's see, we got. Okay. We did not get a skeleton skull, though. Hmm. I was hoping to just be like, oh, look, done deal. All right. Having that cursed earth down there, by the way, that worked out really well. Because there's like no pigment up here now. However, I did get my ass withered. So. Whoa. No. Um. Whoop. Nope. Would you guys knock it the hell off? All right. Whoop. Nope. Get juked, son. Um. No skulls though. Got a couple withered ribs. I got some necrotic bones, but no actual skulls. Hmm. Kind of disappointing, really. Oh, well. Let's grab some experience while I'm here, I guess. Have quick nosh. And all these guys down here should despawn now. Oh, nope. Nope, they didn't. Yeah, there's a lot of zombie pigmen right there. I'm going to leave them alone. I mean, it's I only have the skull fire sword. I don't have the, uh, the sword of the cosmos, wherever it is. All right. So, but Cursed Earth is done. Let's spread and silk touch it up, or you can keep activating lots of division sigils. Yeah, I'm just silk touched it and called it good. Uh, Crystal Matrix. Not hard to make, just really expensive. The reward is fun, though. Oh, yeah, the Infinitato. Okay, so let's look up the Matrix, right? All right. It is, what, nine Crystal Matrix ingots. 3.9 million ingots. Each. I need 500 of them. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm not doing that this episode. I will, however, store all my experience. I'm going to come over here and put some cursed earth away, necrotic bones, withered ribs. Uh, that can just get deleted. There we go. And I probably could have just put it into here and turn it into some EMC, and blaze rods, Minicio, loot bag. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, and blaze. I think it's due to battalion, but blaze shed blaze powder occasionally. So, cool, kind of works. So, this is all the stuff showing up in here that does not have an EMC value. Gonna have to figure a way to filter that stuff out of my system. But, you know, it is what it is. Hmm, I do have a broken. Actually, no, I don't have a broken skeleton spawner anymore, I think. I think that's the one that I turned into, a, uh, into the pink slime spawner. Oops. Oh, well. But I found spawners. I went to the deep dark, right? And there still has a, the, uh, I don't know, the, the, the castles or what do you want to call it that spawn in? They have a bunch of spawners in them. However, they also have extremely tough enemies. With my current gear and 18 hearts, I got two shot by a spider. So, not... Not a lot of fun, really. You get in the corner. Wait for it. Wait for it. There it goes. All right. So where are we at now, anyway? We're at 64%, and for some reason, my essence is drying up. But no worries. It'll be taken care of soon. Um, 
Where are we at? No, wrong chest. This one. 56. Awesome. And let's see. I am going to, like, that Minisio can go away. Don't need it. So, now, uses. Speed rune. It'll be under uh, orb crafting. Here we go. Blood rune is six smooth stone, two slates, and an orb. So... I need 28 times 6 smooth stone. I don't feel like doing the math, so I'm just going to grab 3 stacks. So, oh, you're doing the thing again, aren't you? Sometimes my keyboard's just, or I'm not sure if it's keyboard or what, but it's like, nope, you can't hit T. Pretty sure it's not the keyboard since I can just close out. and 1, 2, 3. And then it works. So, so we're going to go like that. Like so. Like so, and nope, like that. Thank you. Put the orb in the middle. We have 28 blood runes now. Awesome. 24 smooth stone left over. Put it back. And now we need to uh, go through and start placing these things in. Now, granted, this is a, going to be a very, you know, I'm just going to bang my all this stuff out. Very basic altar. I mean, I've got, I think, two runes to sacrifice in there. Which, they do help with uh, EMC generation. I'm not going to lie about that. but Or not EMC, but blood generation. But, you know, I would like to have more. Oop. Yeah, come here. But what I need to do now is I need to make some inscription tools, right? So, first things first is, I should just get a lever for that. You can disable transfer nodes with a lever, so let me down. Thank you. So, lever. Boom, boom, boom. And I might need to grab a smooth stone out of here. Yeah, I need to actually... That should fix it, right? Yep. That'll work just fine. I mean, that was just a decorative touch, really. Didn't need to be there. I just decided to put it there. All right. You guys need to die now. Thank you. Feed that into the system. How am I doing on Minisio now, anyway? Uh, over a thousand. Cool. So I need uh, inscription tools, though. Right? Well, I know that a gas tier is one of them. Uh, let's see, it's also a block of lapis. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And from now on, I have. Um, there we go. That's what I want right here. Ritual diviners. I need. Air, which is the gas here, and a thousand LP. Fire is a magma cream. Earth is obsidian. Okay. So, obsidian. And then I need a magma cream. All right, not a problem. Magma cream. And with my filter set up the way it is, I don't have to worry about my, uh, my conduit yanking things out early because it's... It's looking for something that it's not going to find. Cool. Gas tier. I should probably put a slab of some flavor like right there. Shouldn't I? Boom. Done. Elemental inscription tool, air. Now, what is the base for this thing? Five diamonds. Okay. Uh, magma cream. Okay. So I need to get five diamonds and I need to turn my lapis into a block. So, let's do that. And then diamonds, right? One, two, three, four, five. Let's put it in this one. Come on. Four and five. Now, that will make a diamond lattice, which I don't want to do right now. Uh, we got air up top. Okay. 
And it does matter which position they're in, so. Fire's done. Cool. Um, let's just do like that. Put some of that in. And eh, might as well just hang out. No sense going back and forth all the time. Earth is done. Lapis. And I'm also going to need two demonic slates. Oof. Ouch. And two blocks of coal. Alright. Oop, gimme. Awesome. Alright. Now I was in this one, right? So I believe water, earth, fire. All right? No, dang it. Alright. Oh, it's an emerald in the middle is why. Okay. Easy enough. That's what I get for not paying attention, I guess. Look like an idiot on camera. All right. And Ritual Diviner. Awesome. Right. Shift right click. Full spring. Serenade another. Green Grove. Interdiction ritual. Ritual containment. Ritual binding. Unbinding. High jump. Magnetism. The crusher. Speed. Shepherd. Well of suffering. That's what I want. Um, I do need a couple blocks of coal. Right. Which this thing doesn't know blocks so which isn't how to make regular coal so I need two of these not a problem and then I'm gonna need some match or some uh, ritual stones so well that's cooking ritual stone right a master stone is Four ritual stones, four obsidian, and an orb. Regular ritual stones are reinforced slates. <sighs> yeah, that's not going to happen on camera, I think. And, um... <clears throat> oh, you take 2,000. And a tier 4 altar, which this thing's only a tier 3 still. I need to, uh... Oh, bugger, I can't remember what goes in the corners now. I just did a video on this, too. Shame on me. Um, boop. I'm going to look it up my phone real quick. I think it's the Bloodstone Bricks, isn't it? Yep, Bloodstone Bricks. So it means I need a different ritual right now. I am going to need a uh, regen, feathered knife, no, feathered earth. There's Condor, Mark of the Falling Tower, Battle of Alchemy, or Expulsion, Suppression, Call of Zephyr, Harvest Moon, Eternal Soul, Ellipsoid. My god, there's a lot of rituals. Uh, Veil of Evil, Requiem of the Satiated Stomach, Convocation of the Damned, Symmetry of the Mega, Do It the Few Souls. Oh wow, I um I have no idea actually what I'm looking for. Not interdiction though, I know that. Binding. I need a ritual of binding. So between this episode and next, I am going to uh get this thing. Oop, spiders. Thank you. Making uh the tier two runes that I need. Would that witch die? Thank you making the tier 2 runes that I need to make ritual stones with. Oh, man. I'm freaking stabbing them with my ritual diviner. That doesn't work. So, what I'm going to do for now, though, I'm going to make this an empty white list. And I'm going to grab just one of you. Cause, just because. And plunk it in there. Do a little more foot stabby. I need an empty hand to pull things out of the blood altar, okay? Oh, wait a second. Empty whitelist automatically pulled it straight out. Hmm. How about I whitelist then torches? Well, it seems like that should work, right? And whoop. another problem. Baby zombies are not affected by this. The uh, dagger sacrifice. Everything else is, mind you. But babies are immune, for whatever reason. 
Okay, so that is a tier one slate right there. And there we go, red particle start again. It does give you a little bit of time to uh, to pull it out before it starts dumping more LP into it. Overall, it does kind of slow the process down, but at the same time, whoop, there we go. It helps prevent you from uh, wasting LP, especially early game whenever it's you know important. Later game, uh, wasting a couple hundred LP is not an issue. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me again. But I am going to move on to something else right now. I did get a bunch of pink slime balls the hard way. Which ex brings me up to how I'm going to end off this episode with a mining laser. For some reason, the beam is red. Or purple, sorry. Sorry, I put a purple laser focus into it. Well, I put six of them in there. I'm trying to get draconium. Uh, this thing is running at full power right now, which is a bit sad but <clears throat> excuse me you know it's it's free stuff right however there's uh there's no dra draconium there is however titanium ore from uh, quantum flux like emerald silver mana infused ore which is always fun too so yeah it works uh purple focus Laser foci um, tend to veer towards lead, I found out. Draconium just doesn't show up in the laser drill for whatever reason. Which is a bit annoying. Alright, where's my platform at now? There it is. Why was it hidden in the fog for so long? I don't know. And these stupid focus are actually kind of expensive. I mean, they're four emeralds a piece. Oh, what did I just teach you by accident? I don't even know what that was, but, um, all right, sure. I just fed it something I didn't want to, I think, and, uh, yeah, great. Okay, you guys need, go away, thank you. Right now, they're just annoying because they take up towards the mob cap, and, uh, you know, it might help if I uh, turn the machine back on, right? There we go. Now we're going to be making tier 2 slabs, which I need for, like, a ritual binding, right? I would show it off, but I need a, uh, need a master ritual stone before I can even, like, show the ghost of it. Uh, we don't have the guide mod installed, unfortunately. There is actually a mod that adds a book on how to... Do all things blood magic, which is really nice. But we don't have it in this pack, so. And I'm not really wanting to uh, change the pack up too much. Uh, let's see, though. I need empty sockets, right? So I need blood shards for those, too. All right, easy enough. What can I make, though, for, like, runes that might help? Uh, let's see. Rune of Augmented Capacity is an imbued slate, which is a tier 3 slate, so that's going to be a little bit more difficult right now. It's 8,000 LP a piece. My altar only holds 10,000 because it sucks. Uh, Rune of the Orb. Demonic slates, yeah. I can't make those yet. I'm only a tier 3 altar. Rune of Acceleration. An ethereal slate, huh? That's a tier 5. What does the Rune of Acceleration do? Hmm. Speed runes, which would be nice, actually. Uh, two blank slates, smooth stone, and a blood rune. All right, easy enough. Efficacy runes. Rune of sacrifice. It requires reinforced slates times two. And smooth stone. You don't actually need a blood rune first to convert into it, which is kind of nice. Are you empty or something? Yeah. You... Already, huh? All right, come on. Fill up with LP. Thank you. Toss some of this stuff in to get sorted. Cobblestone can go away. So can that essence. All right. So I'm sitting on four. Hmm. That's that's what I needed for a master ritual stone, wasn't it? it was four. 
Uh, orb crafting. Here we go. Uh, ritual stone times four. Okay, yeah. I don't know about the master ritual stone, but I know I can make a regular ritual stone now. Oh, come on. I'm getting a little bit of a, a server lag, unfortunately. All right, obsidian times four. One, two, three, four. So, uh, look up ritual again. All right, and you. Nope, of course not. Of course not. Be too easy to get shift click that stuff into place. Oh, come on. Give. Thank you. Regular ritual stones. Now, the master is. Four plus four more obsidian. All right, easy enough, right? So, one, two, three, four. All right, now how did it go? Obsidian in the corners? All right, come on, give. And one, two, three, four. There is my master ritual stone. I think I'm gonna set this thing up over here for now. Ritual of Binding, right? It's a pretty good size ritual. I want it away from everything because it does call lightning down. Which can make a mess. But I need a total of 24 runes. So this can be taking a little bit while. A little bit of time, you know. But, oh, did you... You did, again. I've been tweaking this so that it quits backstuffing so much. Because when it backstuffs, it just, uh, yeah. It slows down a lot when it does backstuff. So I've just been feeding it dark matter now. It's no longer a uh, perpetual motion machine, but at least when it is running, it runs faster. However, it stops on its own all the time now. So I need to set up a, uh, oh, bitumen ore. Cool. How do I process that stuff? Just, just melt it. I can pulverize it into two, or I can cook it for eight. Hmm. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do there. But yeah, I need to set up some, uh, looks like alloys or uh, ore smelting now. I mean, like, I got four diamond ore. That's kind of nice. Glowstone, I can just drop that straight into the system as is. Titanium ore is kind of nice. But just that, that just doubles, right? Yep, it does. Hmm. But I think one of the things I'm going to do is between this episode and next, I am going to go to the end and I'm going to fly around and try to find myself a Draconium Comet. I'm not sure if that part of World Gen was left intact or not, but uh, it'd be nice to know about. But thank you for uh, listening to me ramble on. Until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.